Hey YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Rich, and today we are out for some throttle therapy. The name of the channel is Rich the Return Rider. For all you folks that's here for the first time, thanks for tuning in. For all you folks that's return viewers, I appreciate you coming back. For all that subscribe to the channel, I appreciate the support. For you folks that haven't yet subscribed, guys, hit that subscribe button so we can continue to bring you some of this content. Appreciate it. Leave some comment in the comment section. So like I said, today I'm coming to you from one of my favorite stores. We are in Lake City, Florida. The temperature here, this is October, I want to say 6th or 7th, uh, Saturday morning. And the temperature is 73 degrees. Guys, it is absolutely beautiful here. As you can see, nice and sunny. Let's start out here with a little bit of a U-turn. Some emergency braking parking lot here we got to watch for the cars but yeah man as you can see as you can see from the title there folks I have encouraged one of my co-workers that ride a motorcycle to watch my channel he has come back <laughs> with a question here especially after I did my last video and he said to me, uh, are you a Harley Davidson hater? And I asked him, I said, why would you say that? He said, because a lot of your content talks about the Honda Goldwing. I saw some of the other stuff where you talk about your boulevard, but you don't really ever talk about Harleys. I grew up riding sports bikes, dirt bikes, and so forth. I, in the image he have of is of his dad working and riding a Harley Davidson. So he remember him just sitting back cruising with his hair blowing in the wind. And he just knew when he grew up, he was gonna own a Harley Davidson. That image of his dad is one of the coolest memories that he remembered when it comes to motorcycling. And I thought that was really a really cool thing, man. A kid that is at the age where he is riding and the image that he have is of his dad just sitting back chilling and shooting the breeze on his bike. Awesome. Now, I haven't had that same kind of an image growing up. No one in my family rode motorcycles and to this date, I don't understand them. Why we enjoy this passion of riding a motorcycle. So yeah. So before I get into whether I am a Harley Davidson hater or not. What I am going to say. Is I make videos based on what I have. Is what I explain to him. Of course I explain that that image that he have. I don't you know I didn't share. When it comes to purchases. We do our research and we learn to appreciate the things that we have or the things that we have spent money on. As I got back into riding motorcycles and I started researching bikes, the thing first became in what I see. You know, there's a saying that I heard from a motorcyclist when you get off your motorcycle and you walk away from the motorcycle and you look back, you have to, you know, you have to be able to look back and like what you see. And I believe that's a big deal here in the world of riding motorcycles, man. We, you know, we all, we look at our bikes and we look at them with a certain amount of pride. And coming from the world of sports bikes, the first one for me was the Suzuki Boulevard M109R, a cruiser. Co-worker of mine said, hey, you know what? I'm in the market for a bike. He was coming from sports bikes, but he had a similar image to this guy of his dad riding a Harley Davidson or a family member, uncle, whoever. So his choice was the V-Rod. Man, he loved the way that bike looked. He liked the fact that it was a Harley Davidson. I just like the way the Honda Goldwing, especially this generation Honda Goldwing looked. 
Now, of course, when I did my research, I realized there was so much more to this motorcycle than the appearance. Just like I, you know, researched the boulevard and realized there was so much more to that motorcycle, and in some cases, less to that motorcycle than what I initially knew researching it. But at the end of the day, guys, I always say I don't want to be brand specific. Is I have made videos on why I thought the Honda Going was the most bang for the buck. And I am unapologetic about those videos. Let me delve a little bit more into it by expressing why. You know, try not to repeat, but you know, let's let's answer the question. Am I a Harley Davidson hater? Well, no, guys. One of the bikes that I absolutely would like to own, because I'm such a big fan of the Cone Course, and I could see it in the near future, is the Road King. For its ability to turn, like a lot of the Harleys, with the turning radius that it has, that bike excels on the cone course. Now for everything that I'm gonna say that I would like to own, none of them is in the replacement of the Honda Goldwing. Again, I still believe it's the best bang for the buck. But it's not, a, it's not the all-purpose motorcycle. It's a great multi-purpose motorcycle. I think one of the best. I am willing to test ride any motorcycle out there that they would allow me to test ride. I'm a, at this point, I'm just a, a two-wheel enthusiast. I have recently built what I would like to think is my dream garage. And one of the things that I hope someday, guys, is to own multiple motorcycles. I just, I stopped at Ride Now Power Sports as I was looking at different bikes and I was talking to one of the mechanics that's there. This guy told me at one point he owned 10 motorcycles. But guys, the word affordable is relative. For the things that we want, as expensive as they are, as long as we are working, we can make concessions to own the things that we want to own. You just got to be willing to pay the cost to be the boss. Now, one of the things that I'm going to talk about is the culture. As I was watching uh, Guy Glenn from, I think it's called Holy Shift, test ride the Honda Going in South Florida. I think it was kind of a, like a rented bike. He is a Harley Davidson owner. I think he bought an old Going, if I'm not mistaken. But one of the things that he explained in his video as he encouraged folks to get out and ride other motorcycles is that Harley Davidson is a culture. And I understand it, folks. The vision of my co-worker buys into that culture. He knew when he grew up because of his dad, he was going to own a Harley Davidson. Now, he did express to me that the Harley Davidson that he owns is not the one that he really wants. But at the reduced price, just to say, bashing him for it, you know, it's a cool thing when folks ask, what do you ride? You just don't get the same reaction when you say you ride a Honda Going as, hey, I ride a Harley Davidson. A lot of the folks that don't know much about motorcycles is not even going to ask you what kind of Harley Davidson you rode or you ride. The fact that you rode uh, uh, that you ride a Harley Davidson is just suffice. Now, I when I talk about owning the Road King, I'm not conforming to that. Everything that I own needs to be purposeful. There's got to be a reason for why I own what I own. And wow, look at this car, man! At the end of the day. <laughs> If I can't use it, I lose it. 
Now, one of the problems that I have is that when I start looking for things, I usually don't want to compromise as I start to do my research. When I was looking for the <laughs> Suzuki Boulevard M109R, when I realized that there were other boulevards out there, the C50, the C90, wasn't interesting. What is the motorcycle in this class? And of course we know guys, it was what they refer to as the boss, the M109R. And that's what I started, you know, I set out to buy. I'm gonna buy the, the best motorcycle in this class. The most powerful motorcycle in this class. Guys, I like performance. So I realized as much as I like the look of that new CVO. Now, I learned getting back into riding to don't ever say never. Uh, one of the things that I always say is that I didn't like the big bat wing look of the Harley Davidsons. Just, just never really got into that look. But when the Indian, when I started looking at the Indian, the Pursuits, and the Challenger, I really like the front of that motorcycle. I think it's sexy. I think it's cool. Harley Davidson folks have actually accused Harley Davidson for the last look at that CVO of kind of mocking the Indian. Now, when I, mean, I said in my last video that Harley Davidson have stepped their game up, Harley Davidson riders have said for years that they were behind on technology. That's not the case in that new CVO. But if I ever got into looking for a, for a Harley Davidson, a luxury Harley Davidson, it's not a matter of settling for the one that's next best. At that premium package, guys, I can easily see myself looking at something fifty or sixty thousand dollars now i've done the video why i thought the honda going was the most bang for the buck and i have unapologetically stuck to that the features that's on this bike is just absolutely phenomenal for what we're paying for it did that already in the video but yeah the harley davidson new cvo if i go to the wife and i say to her hey i'm thinking about buying any motorcycle whether it is a harley honda yamaha suzuki and i'm going to be spending sixty thousand dollars for this motorcycle or fifty thousand dollars she's going to look at me like i'm growing foreheads it's just not going to happen folks i am just not going to spend that kind of money <laughs> in a motorcycle but for the folks that can i applaud them I think it is awesome. In the world of Harley Davidson, guys, when you look at the fit and finish of a Harley Davidson, you're never you're not gonna see another motorcycle out there that matches it. Honda, Indian, Suzuki, Yamaha. Man, there's nothing more I love to do when I'm out riding than to take a break at a Harley Davidson facility and to see all the things that they have there. Uh, Lorna has sent me a picture of a Harley Davidson dealership even in the Caribbean and she said I don't even see Harleys on the street it's a culture guys <laughs> of course it's iconic so am I a Harley hater absolutely not I'm not the hater of any type of motorcycle I am that guy that appreciate the things that I own uh, my videos I could only talk about the stuff that I own in the comment section I can hear more and learn more from you folks that like I always say so many of you guys have forgot more stuff than I would ever learn so yeah to you my friend not a Harley Davidson hater for all the motorcycles that I have test rode to date after building a garage that I consider to be my dream garage guys I would like to fill it up with as many toys as I possibly can at the end of the day, guys, I just love two wheels. But I'm not a hater of any folks or anything that's out there rolling around on two or three wheels. I wave at scooters. I give the wave to sports bikes. 
I even wave at some of you Harley Davidson folks out there. <laughs> anyway, folks, let's wrap this video up. I just want to answer that question. Again, man, just appreciating the things that I own and spent hard money for and loving every bit of it. Anyway, guys, uh, you know what I'm always going to say on this channel, man. I don't care what you ride. Get out, ride your motorcycles. Practice the emergency braking and swerving. There's a saying out there. There are those that's been down and there are those that's going down. The only place I've been down so far, guys, is on the cone course of the parking lot. Add some protection to your motorcycle. Do these advanced safety classes. Get out. And it's better that you drop your bike on the cone course or on the parking lot than to crash them out there on the streets. Rich out on Ruby. The 2019 Honda Goldwing. Or someday I might be saying that Road King. I'm out.